All right. Um, first of all, I have an Erlenmeyer flask, obviously been used before. We're going to put a little bit of baking soda in it. How much I need, not sure. I'm sure the chemistry teachers out there would be well aware of this. I'm a physics teacher, so there you go. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, vinegar in it. Anyway, you should first have your students touch the Erlenmeyer flask and notice that it's at room temperature. Then, that's obviously at room temperature too. It's been sitting in the room for several hours. Then I add the, the vinegar. Not too much to where it's going to overflow. But I'll let that mix and notice it's creating a gas. And the, the mixture that it's making there is actually carbon dioxide. So really, all I'm really trying to do here is making carbon dioxide. You can then, after this is, uh, this is reacted for a while, notice a liquid and a solid are making a gas. In order for them to go to a higher energy state, energy must come from the surroundings. And then you can hand that around to the class and they should notice that it's colder. Now it doesn't get as cold as quickly because this is an insulator. But if you were to do this in a metal container, it would get much colder, much quicker. Okay. Now I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to take another beaker and a uh, small candle, light the candle. I'm going to place this inside the beaker so I don't burn myself. I can do this a different way, but this is by far the easiest. And I'm going to take this invisible gas, carbon dioxide. Because carbon dioxide has a C, it's CO2 and not just O2, it's heavier than oxygen, and I pour it in. <laughs> and it puts out the flame. Now, what does this prove? It sure proves that carbon dioxide is heavier than, than, than oxygen. It also proves that gases flow. Therefore, we call those fluids. Cut. Now, by the way, we just did this. I didn't even think about it at the time. You will see there's a lot of gas, there's a lot of uh, smoke in there. What I did is that that carbon dioxide is still in there, but I can't reach this in very well. So if I light something yeah, and I put it in, notice it goes out because there's no oxygen in there or insufficient oxygen to sustain the reaction. So notice the carbon dioxide. Now, I hadn't thought about this. Here we go. We'll take that. Now you can see the smoke is coming out. That's different. Smoke has particulates in it. It's not just carbon dioxide. But we're going to let that pour out and we're going to light it again. This again is our indicator of what's going on. And notice it does not go out because there was insufficient, there, there is not carbon dioxide, in there, carbon dioxide in there to put it out. Okay, 